The chickens hear me moving about. They begin their low croaking growls, murmuring threats through their teeth. In the kitchen, I tell Kettle, don't beep at me. I tell Fridge, don't beep at me. I've already boiled, says Kettle. You left my door open, says Fridge. Shut up, Fridge. Shut up, Kettle. I go outside. A chicken hurries over, pecks at my boot and says, We're worried about you. We don't think you should be on your own. Is there anyone we can call? I brush her aside with my foot. It's okay, I say. The bacon is in the pan. Have you got a spare egg? Back inside, in the kitchen, over an eggless breakfast. I speak to phone. Don't blink, don't flash, don't buzz, don't beep, don't ring. Don't say another word, phone. Phone throws a tantrum, vibrates across the table falls off the edge, onto the carpet, wobbles up and down, makes a sobbing sound. I worry about bone. It has a syndrome. It's a FOMO phone, a FOMO XS5. Are you okay, phone? Are you okay? I drive to the supermarket. Concerned chicken tags along. We park in the 10 minute spot. I tell car, don't beep at me. But my lights are on, says car. Chicken says, shut up car. In aisle nine, I show chicken the rows and rows and rows of eggs. But she is not impressed. She says, Can you buy me a pack of smokes? No. No way, I say. No one is allowed to smoke in poems anymore. But that's ridiculous, says Chicken. 